lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Alright guys, it's your boy, Homeboy Plays, and I'm right back with another LP, or not an LP, and let's see, let your homie play, that's an L-Y-H-P, so it's a let your homie play, so it's an L-Y-H-P, yeah, back with that, and this time we're gonna go through a ACU, or in other words, Assassin's Creed Unity. I love all the references they make right now, like to every game except I guess those are the next Assassins, maybe that we could play as. Like that's Assassin's Creed Con Chronicles. Anyway, let's, let's just play the game. I'll shut up. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. I love how Desmond did not get this experience in the Animus. It was not this convenient. He was just strapped to a chair that I don't know if whether or not it was comfortable and injected with needles. It's a way different experience, I, I'm guessing. Probably way more unpleasant. I know I'm late with this, but I figured, you know, there's so much, it's such a good game that it'd be crazy of me to not upload this. Paris, France. Who goes there? A friend of the temple. Floalrak. The council's message was... Wait. And you can't access options. Absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Hoo hoo. Hit him with the papers. <coughs> Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. Look on the bright side. Now no one can hardly complain to you about how it's all your fault that they got in and did what they did. We are betrayed. Draw your sword, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. Jack Demolay. It does sound awesome in Fred. French, like when you say it in English, in English you're probably saying Jacques de Mole, like Jacques de Mole. Then it's like Jacques, Jacques de Mole. It's way better in French. <laughs> <laughs> 
or the French accent, or the stereotypical French ac accent. I'll shut up. I'll stop. Um, born between 1245 and 9 and 1250. Now that's a long labor. He was born no doubt in Mole. Blah, 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 blah. He was elected grandmaster. Da, 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 da. You know, if you want to read it, you could pause it. Though I think we can agree to lose it. So, okay. It's moving faster than we expected. This is what I wanted to do. I don't want the music playing. Too loud, because I don't want to get copyrighted. So, yeah. Like, who needs music? And there we go. Alright. Another hand is at work here. The Pope? The Assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The Assassins are far older than Massia, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, Go! I will. Persecution of the Templars on the Philip the Fair. Philippe the Fair. See? Way better in French. Okay. Yeah, if you don't call that. It has been a while since I played this guy. Ah, yes, he does play better. Trying to get all up in my DM. Hold the bridge! Hold! Because that always stops the bridge. Like they're gonna hold the bridge when you guys are infiltrating their base and all that. It's it, it would be stupid of them to not close it. I could barely kind of see. Hold on. Where's the brightness setting? Is it in the game options? Nah, I'll change it back. I'm so sorry I'm doing it. See, this is why they should let you like do this type of stuff. Um, prior to starting the game because then it just kind of ruins all the immersion stop him don't let him through let me just take my time no I'm not it's the it's the first mission Oh, you about to get it now, fam. I don't even know if that was the right thing to do. I thought I died. Alright, kill him. Let me guess. This dude is going to have so many convenient things happen to him so that way I can't immediately catch him and kill him. So that's what that feels like. Ooh, that assassin is a fail. Man, forgive me. Alright, we finna kill him. What you want? What you want, fam? Come get it. Get out my DMs. 
Come on, come on, come on. What is that? He ran. He ran. He ran. Oh, this dude is so slow. And he tripped. Then I say get out my DM. Shouldn't he be dead? He should definitely be dead. And um, getting away, but that doesn't get your health back up. I'll say that's how that feels when somebody gets away from health. Oh my god! That's not cool. That's that's kind of cheating. You can't fight back against something that strong. I mean, I wouldn't have it in the center of the floor. Even if it's behind a lock and all that, you know. In like a corner somewhere. In a wall. Because like, what's the chance that they get that out? And I know that they're like, not supposed to and stuff, but... What if there's some really ripped dude that comes through and just rips it out? He's got access to it. Ooh, payback. Payback. Wow. Seriously, Templar should just make it, um just regular to immediately whenever they step out of somewhere to check up first like throw a bunch of knives up there or something cuz Pope Clement hear me before this year is out you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty and you King Philip no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple he got that I don't give you <laughs> curse you to the thirteenth generation of your blood. Ooh. You shall be cursed. Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination. No more. He made the man listen to my mixtape. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys throw have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frame you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, spooning it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. Mm -hmm. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should okay. help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. So, for, so like, you're doing the exact same thing Abstergo is doing by, like, forcing me to do this. Saying this.